Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at a company that was funded on Indiegogo and they produce these limited edition runs of watches with really interesting designs. A lot of work goes onto the uh, dials of these watches. They're really, really interesting and cool. Kind of fun, kind of a fun way to wear a watch. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a second. This is the Happy Watch and one of their limited edition designs, kind of a, a very fierce dragon. And this is the packaging it comes in. As you can see, I'm gonna take it out of the wrapping there. Open her up, and here we go. And there she is. Wow, look at that. So that's the actual watch case, as you can see, with that crazy dragon. You have two crowns there. Kind of actually looks like those are the ears. And you have the eyes and the mouth here. So really, really cool. Let me get this out. And here she is. Look at that. Wow, I'll get a little closer. As you can see, there's two subdials for the eyes. And a lot of different colors. This is actually a bronze dial with a bunch of different parts that goes together to making this actual dial. And it's a square case, kind of reminds me of an old vintage kind of clock, uh, which is pretty cool, like the old style Bulova, the style of case that this is in. Um, but yeah, really cool. Also comes with two straps. I'm going to throw it on a strap and uh, we'll get into it. You also do get your user handbook and warranty all inside this pamphlet here, just so you know. Inside here are two bands. You do get a vegan leather band and a NATO band. I happen to like how it wears on the NATO band, so I'm going to show you on that first. Extra spring bars included as well. And there she is equipped on a nice uh, NATO band. Actually a very good quality NATO band with polished silver hardware. I think it looks right at home on the NATO band. It does look pretty decent on the vegan leather band, but I found a better fit I got on this actual NATO band. But I will show you the vegan leather band after this, uh, which is 20 millimeters, which fits in between these lugs. Anyway, this is a limited edition kind of art style watch. Um, it's supposed to make, you know, wearing a watch a bit more fun. As you can see, you get all those nice colors, uh, which really looks pretty good. Everything is very neat, cut out very nicely. There are no errors or anything like that. And you have a square case with dual crowns. So there are actually two quartz movements inside this watch. The uh, battery life is about two years. You get two Japanese quartz movements. As you can see, one is for the 12 hour or the hours over at the left. On the right, you have your 60 minutes. So as you can see right now, it is 532. Uh, so very easy to read the time, not very complicated, even though it may seem more complicated. And you set each uh, subdial separately with each crown, which is pull and push. So yeah. Uh, pretty interesting, very interesting watch. Some basic dimensions on the actual timepiece that I measured myself. I got 41 millimeters lug to lug. Across the case is 33 millimeters. You have a 20 uh, millimeter lug width there. And you have about a 9 millimeter thickness. It's really, really thin. You have those quartz movements inside helping that. You get a hardened, or a, they say it's extremely hard. You get a, gen uh, a genuine sapphire crystal on the front, which uh, looks really nice. It appears a bit more luxurious, I should say. Once again, the price point on these is about $199.99. Uh, that's about $200, US dollars, which I think is pretty fair. Nice packaging, two straps, and the actual watch itself. But the main thing about these watches is the limited edition dials. There are a bunch of different faces you can choose from. I think this one I happen to like the best. It's a bit scary, a bit fierce, and I really like the colors. Now this watch does uh, hold about three ATMs or 30 meters of water resistance on these pull and push crowns. Uh, so definitely not something to take into the water. Um, it's definitely not for the water. Uh, you know, if you're in the rain, you're walking around in the rain, I think you should be okay. Um, definitely don't take it into the water. As I stated, we have a two-year battery life. The case itself is solid 316L stainless steel. Uh, it is hand polished, they do state on their website, um, which is pretty cool. And it's blacked out, of course. The dial is a bronze dial. Bronze dials are a bit more expensive than standard dials. Um, you know, they're harder to cut. And you have that nice 3D, uh, effect as you can see here. Everything is 3D printed or 3D cut, all the parts for the face, uh, which is really cool. Now taking a look at the case back as you can see, it's a really interesting case back. You get your own serial number, Happy Face, Funny Face Limited Edition, Estate 2019, Shanghai, Timepiece, 3 ATMs, Dual Quartz, Japanese Movement, all in a square shape, uh, which looks pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I think it looks pretty neat. Functioning this watch is very, very simple. You have two crowns, one on the left, one on the right. When you want to set the hours, use the crown on the left. When you want to set the minutes, use the crown on the right. I'm going to go ahead and show you here. As you can see, I'm going to pull this crown out. There's one position, and you can change the minutes just like that in the nice little red subdial. We'll set it to 30. Then you pull out the one on the left, and you can set the hour. We'll set it to, uh, let me see, 7.30. And that's pretty much it, very simple. Obviously we can't set the seconds on this, there's no second subdial. 
Um, but it's a quartz movement. They're very accurate. You're not going to have an issue with that. Um, but there is no loom on this watch, although it would have been cool if there was loom, but there is no loom on this watch. Um, so no loom shot today, guys. Um, but I'm going to throw it on my 6.5 inch wrist, see what this smaller kind of square case looks like on my 6.75 inch wrist. There she is on my 6.75 inch wrist. It actually fits just about across my wrist. And it wears really nice on this nice NATO strap. This is very good quality. As you can see, it's woven very nicely. It's very smooth. It doesn't really, um, it's very flexible, I should say. And you do get a custom buckle here, as you can see, um, which is very nice. So you can see that's the side profile. Um, but yeah, it definitely looks very nice on my wrist. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and show you the vegan band. It's a very good quality vegan uh, leather band, which is a bit more expensive than a genuine leather band. So let's see how that looks on this watch. There she is on the nice vegan leather band, as you can see. Um, it is a very nice leather band, I must admit. As you can see here, right on the strap, it does state, uh, what does that say? Happy Watch Vegan Leather. And it is very, it is very supple and smooth. You have red stitching to match the red accents, as you can see on the mouth and the eyebrows. It is very flexible straight out of the box. You do get a custom black buckle to match that black finishing on the case there. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my wrist, see what this one looks like. There she is on my 6.5, 6.75 inch wrist. As you can see, it conforms straight out of the box there. Um, I would say it, it, it wears a bit different considering it's a square case on a non-conformed band. Um, but this one is definitely flexible enough to be worn with this watch. Um, however, that NATO strap it comes with is really, really supple and really, really comfortable. Uh, I'm not usually a big fan of NATOs, but that NATO is very, very nice. Um, but yeah, definitely a good option, you know. Uh, definitely gives it a different look. You have a nice buckle. It's not too big. I like the size of the buckle as well. And it's just very soft and supple, this nice vegan leather, as you can see there. Anyway, let me uh, finish up here and I'll give you my conclusion. So for $200, you're getting something that's limited edition, right? Something that's not going to be made again, different styles, different faces, and it's very well made. So you're not getting something cheap, um, per se. So it's not something that's, uh, you know, there, there are a bunch of gimmicky watches out there, right? Let's be honest. Um, but this one is actually very well made. It feels very well constructed. Everything that it comes with, the components, the strap, the case build, you get a sapphire crystal, you get this nice bronze die with all these custom parts that are put together. Um, and it all comes together very nicely. You know, it's a it's a watch that's fun to wear, something to add to the collection. You know, that you wear once a week or so, you know, maybe on a Friday. You can just, it's definitely a watch you're going to get a lot of questions about, I must say that. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely a very interesting watch. I like the dragon face. I think this one's cool. I believe this one is still in stock on their website. Uh, if you want to check out, I will drop a link to their website in the description below. But for, from what I've seen on mine, there are no quality control issues on the case finishing cut. Um, pretty cool case back as well. And yeah, I think it's a pretty decent deal for $200. You're getting two straps, and you're getting a very unique limited edition piece. That's fun to wear, and hopefully it'll make you a little happier, <laughs> since it's called Happy Watch. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you guys think, as usual, down in the comment section below. I will get back to you there. Definitely throw the video a like, and let me know what you think. And subscribe to the channel. A lot of more interesting content coming up real soon. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.